Hello guys, it's Aaron here with another RuneScape video. Today I'm going to be showing you my ultimate 99 defense slash magic guide after the EOC. Today we're going to be killing Dagonoths. They're level 114, 104, and 93 because there are different variations of them. But I'm just going to be talking about the level 112 versions we are going to be killing today. And their life points are around 2800. XP per kill is around 230. They attack with range slash melee, and their max hit is around 200. Their weakness is debatable because the RS wiki has um, different weaknesses for all the different kinds, but the ones in the area that we are killing, they're actually weak to earth spells. So The notable drops are the drop... Um, Helms, the Warrior Helm, Berserker Helm, and they also drop effigies, which I just got one actually because I'm training here right now, AFK. And they drop Dwarf Weed, which you want to pick up. Now, the requirements to do this method are you need to have completed Desert Treasure for the Rocket Barrage spell, and also 88 plus magic because 88 magic is the requirement for Rock Barrage. And you also need to complete Fremenic Trials for the ability to travel to Waterbirth Island. And you can take a Dwarf Cannon if you want, but that's just going to cost you a lot more money. And you also need a decent amount of money because it's quite expensive for runes. Now the gear you want to take is full Ganodermic or Arums if you do not have Gano. And for the necklace you want to take an Ar Arcane Stream Necklace or a Fury or an Amulet of Glory. Now for your weapon, you want to take a Master Wand, slash Aram's Wand, or a Grafalic Wand. For your shield, you want to take a Grafalic Orb, because most of you most of you probably did not know this, but when you wear a Grafalic Orb and a Wand, it makes you cast spells twice as fast. And for the Cape, you want to take a God Cape, or Skill Cape. And then for the Ring, you want to take a Seer's Ring. And note, all of this can be downgraded to fit your economic needs, or if you do not have the skill level to wear some of this stuff, it can also be downgraded to your skill level. Now for the inventory, you want to take overloads if you have them, or extreme magic pots, or just a regular magic potion. Now for familiar, you want to take a bunyip, or a war tort if you want to bring extra food, or a yak if you want to bring extra food and supplies, or a unicorn for healing, or a steel titan to help you kill a lot faster. And you want to take Blood and Lava Runes for Rock Barrage slash Blood Fire Barrage so you can heal. And you want to take your best food. You want to bring Relica Teleports. You want to take a Bone Crusher and or Herbicide. And you want to bring whatever else you feel you need to survive and get the best experience per hour. Now for the ability bar, you just want to use up a bunch of basic magic abilities to gain a max ability bar so that you can activate momentum. So you want to use Rack, Dragon Breath, Impact, Compus, Combust, not Compust, Chain, Anticipation, which is a defensive ability, and then finally Momentum. Momentum lasts for 20 minutes, so you'll have to repeat this cycle every 20 minutes. Now to get to Waterbirth Island, you're going to want to break your house teleport. It will take you right to Relica. So if you have a Bunyip summoned already, you want to renew your points. Then they will be full again, and you can last longer. But I think there is an Obelisk actually inside Waterbirth Island, so that's pretty good. So to run up here, you want to go left up to here. And you want to go all the way over here. Not there further. Did this, dude. Jar Vault right here. Travel Water Birth. He would take you all the way to Water Birth. So from there you just want to run up to here. Might want to have Auto Retaliate off so that you don't attack these rock crabs. Then you want to run up to here. And then you want to run over to here to the cave. And inside this cave is the Diagonals. Now once you are here, you're just going to want to enter the cave entrance. And you want to hurry up and spin. Go in. And this crab is just attacking me and making me mad. 
click go in and then you want to summon a bunyip. You want to run right over to where this guy is standing. So since there's a dude here, we're going to want to hop. If we can. And we can't. Or there's just an avatar here. No, he's over there. He has all the diagonals over there. So we're going to want to climb back up. And we're going to want to lobby. So once you find an empty world like so, you're going to want to run into this little crevice over here next to these eggs. I just think this is the best area, but once again, you can change this however you like. So you just want to get, you want to turn your auto retaliate on, and you just want to start using abilities until you get to max. And you also want to drink your magic potion. So you just want to spam these abilities. This isn't the right bar, I don't think. This is my next bar. So yeah, you just want to spam these basics. You just want to spam, spam, spam. It might take a couple minutes to get to max. Okay, so once you're there, you just want to get back into this spot and you will basically AFK well, I'm not even auto casting. It's a fail. Now, you will start to drop everything like that. And this will gain a massive XP. It's just constant XP rolling down. And if you can, you can pick up the Crimsons. I don't recommend picking up anything else unless it's maybe Blood Runes, so you can have extra. So, um, yeah. Last time I came here, I got about... I got, I got a crap ton of XP. But this is quite expensive, as you can tell. The blood runes are quite expensive. Uh, the lava runes are only like 6 GP each, so... And they count as fire and... Uh, I think it's... Earth, fire, and earth, yes. So, and last time I came here, I got like... Uh, two berserker helms within 30 seconds, so you just want to constantly be clicking around right here see if there's any drops to be picked up so now we're just going to start a five minute test I've started the timer now, so I will see you back in five minutes As you can see, after five minutes of doing these Dagonoths, I gained 30,435 defense experience. Now, if you were training magic, that would be exactly the same. It's just I was training defense because I already have 99 mage. So, let me pull out my calculator here. Let's do 30,435 experience times 12. And that equals 365,000 experience an hour. Now this could go faster or slower depending on how many diagonals you have piled up because I didn't have a lot mainly the whole time. So this could easily be upwards of 400,000 experience an hour and that's either in magic or defense. So that is a tremendous amount of experience and I've been told that this is one of the fastest methods in the game to currently train. So I hope you all enjoyed this guide and I hope I will see you here training your magic or defense at the diagonals. So. I will see you later. Bye-bye.